Friends, we have a message from Betway, the sports betting app that backs you to trust your hockey instincts. If you consider yourself an NHL expert, this is the app for you. If you think you know who's going to win games between the Senators and the Maple Leafs and the Canadians and the Jets... And the Flames, and the Oilers, and the Canucks. I know, I'm, I'm mentioning all of the Canadian teams. If that sounds like you, you should check out the You Lead, You Win offer from Betway. Betway will pay you out as a winner if a team leads 2-0 in any match involving a Canadian team with a $20 max stake. So head on over to Betway and bet your way. You must be 19 years or older to play, and please, always play responsibly. I do want to ask, uh, with all the college free agents, uh, not sorry, not college, not just college free agents, but also players who have been uh, drafted and all that. Matthew Nyes is not a college free agent for what it's worth. Obviously, a draft pick of the, of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but there's been a lot of activity surrounding college players. And I just wanted to know where the Maple Leafs are at with Matthew Nyes. They were supposed to meet with him, I think, yesterday uh, in Minnesota with Kyle Dubas. I believe that was said on Insider Trading on TSN. Uh, hey, exactly. what did? Yeah, pretty great segment. I, I missed you on that last one, though. It would have been nice to see your face. Yeah, we're down to two-man ITs for just for April. So we each get a oh. day off, like basically one day off a week uh, from doing it, which is it's a nice break. So I appreciate you missing me, but it, there's nothing untoward there. Like my Coburg Papa was like all on me. He's like, everything okay? And I was like, yeah, everything's fine. They're just like giving me everything. Calm down, Dad. Don't worry. I haven't been, been released. It's just we're, we're yeah. having a little lighter schedule post-trade deadline. Um, but... I I'm with you. So Matthew knees. Yeah. He, I believe it's nice. Nice. Sorry. I, this is, this yeah, is the, the knees nice thing. Like, what is it? This is the name though. It's like, when I look at it, like I can't, for some reason in my brain, like it's just like, there's something goes um, with this particular name. And unfortunately he plays, he's going to play in the city that I live in. So I better get used to it. Yeah. Um, but sorry, Matthew. I'm going off first. James Duffy's pronunciation, by the way, can I just say, um, shout out James Duffy who sent me a happy birthday message earlier this week. And it has literally made like it, it like I, I literally was like shaking for like five minutes. Anyway, uh -huh. I just had awesome. to mention that. Just had to mention that. But anyway, Matthew dies. Go ahead. Yeah. The Leafs met with him this week. Kyle Davis flew to Minnesota. I had a meeting with him. I think it's pretty clear to him what the opportunity is in Toronto. The reasons the Leafs, you know, are welcoming, are willing to extend him an entry level contract, sign him right now if he wants to turn pro. You know, and he has a decision to make and he has some unfinished business. You know, his team didn't win the the, the frozen four. And, you know, I, I think it's a tough choice in, in some ways because, you know, it's, it's as appealing as it would be. He's seeing all his, you know, not necessarily teammates, but just his, his colleagues, essentially, you know, Matty Beneers is like playing in a game for Seattle, right? Owen Powers jumped from Michigan. He's, he made his debut the other night for Buffalo. Um, you know, go down the list, even guys like Brendan Brusson, you know, is, is signed with Henderson is playing the American Ben Myers team. just signed in Colorado. Right. Like these, but these guys are jumping Ken Johnson right into the Columbus lineup. And so made his debut against the Canadians the other night. Right. And, and so there would be an opportunity here to play for the Leafs before the end of the regular season, if you wanted to, uh, to, to start making money, to start training with NHL level staff every day to, to be on the ice with Austin Matthews at practice and, and all those things. But then, you know, there's, you can never really go back. Right. I mean, you can go finish your degree uh, through summer schooling or what have you, but you can't go back to this, the, the life you have as an NCAA player. And so, you know, he's, he's weighing his options. I, I don't know that it'll take too long for him to come to determination, but you know, as of when we're recording this, I don't think he's made up his mind. And, and, yeah, I think no matter what he decides, he can't really go wrong. And that's probably the, the benefit of this kind of choice. I mean, it's like, Hey, do you, do you want to join an NHL team right now? Or do you want to wait a year and you can join them at this time next year? Uh, and you can still have a great student life and, and do what you're doing in NCAA, still be dominant, play huge minutes, and all those types of things. But, you know, the, the least organizations really pumped about him. Uh, you know, drafted him in the second round last year, didn't have a first round draft pick. And, and his career trajectory has gone really well since that draft day. So um, I, I'm, I'm reasonably certain whether he signs an entry level deal right now or in the spring of 2023, he's going to have a lot of opportunity to play for the Leafs. And they're a team that's going to need players on cost controlled contracts, right? Michael Bunting didn't just get a spot on the Leafs. He's playing on their top line and having a great year. Um, you know, I think those opportunities will extend down the road because, because of the cap picture, because of a flat salary cap, they need guys making under a million dollars that can play. And, and that that's, that's a good spot to be in if you're Matthew Nice.
Is it also too early to ask if he were to sign this year, how he would fit in that Leafs lineup? Like what he would, what role he could play? Like how would that, would that work in terms of incorporating him into the Maple Leafs lineup? I think it's too early to ask. I mean, the one thing I would say though, is if he signs and then they get, you know, and they get into some injuries or something, I mean, maybe, maybe he plays higher up than we're even guessing, but, but more than likely if we're being reasonable, look, they have players in the American hockey league, they have a fair amount of depth. And, and I also don't think we should expect them to walk in the NHL and dominate anything or, you know, that there's going to be a learning curve there. And so, um, you know, really what's being offered to him though, is a chance to, to get in some games now to, to get a nice sense of that learning curve, to get with the staff, to get around the team and to know this summer as he goes through his, his off season work that he's preparing to be a pro now. And, and, you know, it's just a different level. I mean, the NCAA has proven to be such a great grooming ground for NHL players uh, for a long time now, but you know, these last 10 years, we've seen it more and more and more, but you know, it it gives him a chance to really know what his future is. And so, you know, I I think that that's, that's probably the appeal if you're him. And then look, it's every kid's dream that that anyone who gets to that level of NCAA hockey is dreaming of playing in the NHL. So he's a chance to live his dream here in the next few weeks if he signs an entry level deal. 